Hey there, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare interactive brokers versus trading to 112. Let's start. The first I'm going to talk about the fees, then I will talk about account opening, trading platforms, also markets and products like what can you actually invest to, security on both of these brokers and also what I actually think about these brokers that which one you should choose and for what. So fees, this is like the first most important thing. Interactive brokers is not free at all. You gotta pay the money to earn the money. On Trading 212, you don't have to pay anything. This is a huge advantage for Trading 212. Why? Because the stock and ETF is completely for free. When I go here to Interactive Brokers and you look for the fees, you see it right here. They have low stock and ETF commission fee. Uh, $1 per US stock, UK stock and German stock. They are pretty low comparing to, I don't know, IG or and others. These are really good prices. But let's look on Trading212. This is the platform that I'm investing through. And I'm going here in one word, ETF, click buy. I will just add here value of like, I don't know, 5 euro. Review order. And you see the commission that it's free that you don't have to actually pay anything. So my recommendation, if you would like to buy ETF and also stocks on a monthly basis, trading 212 is choice for you, in my opinion, but let's continue. There are also advantages for interactive brokers. So interactive brokers got a lot of products. Like if you would go to the product, what they offer, they're like full package. There is not a single I don't know, financial broker in a Europe who would provide so many products as interactive brokers. Like I'm not going to even like name them because you can read them, but it's like so damn much. They are completely winning compared to trading 212. So this is the first thing. And now continue. What I don't like about interactive brokers is that they have inactivity fee. What does it mean? Let me show you if I... Got it right? Hoppa. Yes, if you have every month below $2,000 on your account in Interactive Brokers, you're gonna pay a $20 a fee. And that's crazy for me. Like, $20 per month if you have less than $20,000 account balance. And if you don't generate minimum $20 commission, $10 for accounts having at least like what the hell. It's, it's huge. The fee is huge in my opinion. So you need to charge at least those 5k to your interactive brokers if you want to be there. Another thing is that yes, it's expensive, but the dating platform dating the trading platform is really complex. Like if you see trading turn 12 is simple, it's easy. You can really like, it's not that hard to trade, but look at this, this desktop platform, the UX and UI design, oh mama mia, they must earn so much money from fees and they can actually build a really good trading platform. What is this? So the design, I don't actually like it. But the web platform is all right. Oh, okay, I can leave it to that. The web platform is all right. But this one, that's a no from me, dog. And that's pretty much it. Now, the next thing is that account opening on interactive brokers is pain. Like, I open with a trading 212. The only thing that you can have problem with is uh, problems with verification. If you want to verify your account sometimes it can uh took a lot long time but it for me it was like two days and i was in but interactive brokers it's not user friendly and it's hard like if you're gonna open try to open test it out by yourself but it's crazy now the deposit and withdrawal credit cards are not available in interactive brokers in trading 212 they are available and that's that's my like i like it when i click here and manage funds and i collect deposit funds I can just easily deposit or I can even withdraw funds. Look at this. But well, let me show, let me write your password. Okay, next. And I can like look confirm and then withdrawal on my card. 
So this is pretty much it. Now let's come go further. About security and education, I really like that on both of these platforms you can use demo account. That's huge for me and I like it because you can actually test the waters with interactive brokers or also with the trading 212 and that's like like thumbs up for me. And safety, okay. Like safety, interactive brokers is top notch. He's here, it's for years here. So you get nothing to worry about. Trading in 212 is much safer. You can see here, it does not hold a banking license, not listed on a stock exchange. Financial information is not publicly available. Also, they make, uh, okay, now you can have make, make a question, how they make actually money if the stock and ETF is free? They make money based on, if you have money on your account, they take interest out of that. So that's how they do it. Also, if you're looking as summary, recommended for interactive brokers, trade looking for low fees and professional trading environment, and also trading to our 12, if you want to invest to stocks, CFD, Forex, it's good to go, but I wouldn't choose CFD for trading through on 12. That's like, I would choose interactive brokers or XTB. The fees are much lower. Customer service on both of these platforms is all right. Um, when I wrote to trading 212 support in Sunday, they replied to me in three hours. So that's really good. And when I go even to fee, benchmark fees, are kind of all right, but still they are a little bit expensive. I'm really like curious what I would do, what I would recommend. Also check guys, inter if you want to like write me in the comments to what you want to actually invest. If you want to invest to CFD, I would compare, I wouldn't go with the trading 212. I would look for XTB, the Giro, if it's possible. And maybe first trade or free trade. I don't know if you can trade CFD there. But yeah, I would just check interactive brokers and the Giro and XTB for CFD trading or trade station global also. That's like, so that's pretty much it. Thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions, ask it down below in the comments. Have a great day and goodbye.